Hi, thanks for checking out the video again. Uh, I haven't been able to get out on another camping uh, to do a camping video. Health issues again, same same health issues. Uh, just sort of not enabling me to do it. So I'm just going to do the last in my series of uh, gear that I've got and I'm going to do uh, stoves and mess kits. Okay, thanks anyhow. Right, basically, I've just got a small selection of my uh, mess kits and what have you. I do have other bits and pieces. I've got uh, zebra head billy cans and uh, I've got uh, I've got I've got quite a lot of sort of like pots and pans. But this is the main um, mess full on mess kits that I've got. Uh, again, I'm gonna be Go on by me uh my list here just so I get it right or hopefully get it right. So I'll start off with um these two are both Swedish Army uh Trangiers. I've got the Swedish Army Ranger Trangier, which is like a, a just your standard bog standard Trangier, but obviously it's a different shape. Just very slightly. It's got the big Trangier burner in it. Uh, alcohol burner. That's a really good one for. Uh, it's quite heavy, but it's. Uh, I'm, I'm well pleased with yours and that. It's easy to use. Everything's all nice and compact. So that's your standard uh, Swedish Army Ranger Trangier. The other Swedish Army one I've got is the stainless steel Trangier. I'm sure you're all familiar with this one. It's got the. Uh, the legs that come off come the, on the inside you put your burner in there burner in the bottom there and then you stand your pot on top of it like that so I'm sure you've all uh, seen those before like I say it's the stainless steel version there is a, they do do a, um, an aluminium version and the way you can tell the difference is something to do with the number of rings around the lid so yeah that's the, the stainless steel one anyhow um, Swiss, Swiss Army uh, Volcano Ranger stove aluminium it's just a very simple rocket stove with an aluminium bottle in it And then that sits on the cup sits on top and that closes up like that. It's quite lightweight, it's a twig burner. Um I've yet to use that one. I know the ginger scarf uh, actually loves his uh, his volcano stove. He uses it quite a lot. Um I think I'm not a hundred percent sure that this is a, a Swedish Army Emmencock Trangier, I think. It's just a standard kidney shape, uh, kidney shaped uh, unit. It's very similar to the other one that I've got. Um, what else have I got? Um, I've got a couple of stainless steel Dutch mess tins. They're good, uh, always good for uh, you know, boiling the bag stuff. This is a Lixada um, hobo stove, it's another gas stove. Just give me a second. Not a gas stove, it's a. Uh, meths burner. That's just your standard little hobo stove there. It's a good little thing, like I said, Lixada. I quite like Lixada gear. Uh, I have a, I have somewhere a Lixada twig stove as well, which is uh, really nice. Always nice gear, I think. I know it's uh, not your your proper so-called bushcraft gear, but Lixada, like I said, they do good stuff. 
Um, this is a Swiss Army M84 water bottle and a mug. It's well used. As you can see, it's well battered. It's just locks together. I've got a couple of Dutch uh, bottles with the uh, kidney mugs as well. I've got two of those. Well, one's for me and one's for uh, one's for the missus. Uh, good old gilly kettle. It's not one of the. Um, it's it 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 is a this is a gilly actually called a gilly kettle. It's not a Kelly kettle. It's a gilly kettle. That's that's been used a couple of times. That's uh, a nice bit of kit. Do like it. Quite light. It's quite lightweight for its size, but it is quite the size. So you've got to check that into account when you're packing your bags and what have you. Um, this is a, a seat to summit collapsible kettle. Somehow I'm bleeding. A seat to summit collapsible kettle. It's roughly a litre. But you can either use it as a kettle, because it does have a spout there, or you can use it as uh, a pot for so doing your noodles or whatever. But it's a great bit of kit, really do like that. Like I say, it, it collapses down to nothing. It's got uh, no, very little weight in it, but uh, and it doesn't take long, it's got a, a steel bottom on it. Be good for uh, it's good for gas stoves. I can't imagine it would be good for uh, like twig stoves though, because um, the twig stoves you can't control the the, the 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 flame. It would come up the sides and attack the the, the silicon. But it's good for great for gas stoves. Um, I've got a couple of little gas stoves. Talking about those, just a little tiny little fold out one. It's just one of these no name brands, but it's a great little thing. I was really impressed with it. It's got, it's got uh, an igniter on it and everything, you know. It's a uh, great little stove. I'm well impressed with it for, for the size. I know everybody goes on about the BRS ones, but I bought this one ages and ages ago. Use it quite regularly. And the other one I like is a slightly larger one. It's got its own stand and everything, uh, just folds out. This is standard. Again, it's, I I'm not sure. It's another no name one, but uh, it just screws, it's got its own, it screws onto your, uh, your gas bottle. It's just your standard. Uh, Bog standard gas stove, really. A little bit bigger than the other one, but it's very reliable when you can get it folded up. <laughs> it is very reliable. Great bit of kit. All fits into its own little box. That's actually, like I say, it's one of these non name ones. Terra Hiker, it says on it. And it's another Amazon job. Um, <laughs> down to my last two with you. I've yet to use either of those these ones. Um, I'm trying to try and get it into the view, into shot. I'm sure you can see what they are. It's a, a Yugoslavian mess kit. One of the ones with the plastic. Uh, plastic box on top and a square cup and a square cup which I find a bit odd but you can drink out of it uh, and then bought the bottle that fits inside I think it's a great great design um, only thing is to actually boil to, you haven't got a lid to boil water on it because I don't know how this would do over a flame I don't know how uh, durable it is. Probably end up melting. Not my luck anyhow. 
So that's the Yugoslavian mess kit, and it obviously comes in its own box and its own uh, its own bag with uh, a knife, fork, and spoon set. And this just leaves this one. I'm sure you know what it is. It's the, uh, the Russian uh, Air Force, I think it is, VDV Air Force. Decent sized uh, bottle. With a, you know, it's, it's a metal bottle with a metal lid. Um, and then you've got a little pan and a big pan. Great, uh, nice how it all just fits together so it gets so easily. Um, and that comes in its own bag as well. So basically that's that's the main um, stoves and mess kits that I've got. Um, like I say I do have a lot of, uh, well let's hold this camera up a little bit. I do have uh, all sorts of pots and pans, stainless st uh, stainless steel stuff, uh, aluminium stuff. I've got a couple of uh, um, uh, uh, cast iron skillets uh, or frying pans, whichever way you want to look at it. One's a hunter's pan, um, so it's quite a lightweight one for cast iron. Um, but yeah, I've got loads of stuff. I've got, and then I've got all your standard bottles, you know. Um, litre bottles and things like that but yeah that about sums up my uh, my mess kits um, the, the ones I've just showed you that are, are the ones that I either do use very regularly or I'm intending to use in the near future so yeah so thanks for watching anyhow uh, please like and subscribe I would appreciate that it's always uh, always appreciated and I'll uh, hopefully the next video I'll do will actually be a camping video so fingers crossed so thank you very much anyhow thanks for checking it out I hope to see you again <laughs> just a slight addendum to what I told you while I was going through me uh, Gone, gone through my gear, my, my stoves and mess kits. Um, I know that this one's actually a German mess kit, a German kit, and that the end, the end, end Swedish end, Endman's cock. Apologies for uh, absolutely making a mess of the uh, description uh, of the name. That's the Endman's cock, the one man's coker which goes with the Swedish Tranger. So, I, I realise I've got that wrong, I just thought I'd put it on at the end there. Alright, cheers, thank you.